Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here, guys. And I'm back with some NBA 2K15, guys. This game, uh, I guess 2K14 would have been, was a huge part of my channel last year. Brought in a lot of subscribers, a lot of people. And I hope, um, and some of you guys were only in the NBA stuff, not the NHL stuff. So I'm really happy to bring back the NBA stuff. And I hope you guys come out of your caves and your uh, unactive subscriber shells and, and watch this and enjoy this because... I love this series, um, and they've added a lot of cool things from what I hear. This is the first time I'm playing jumping into GM mode. I haven't played with it at all yet. So, we're going to go as the Minnesota Timberwolves. Y'all know I love my boy Wiggins. My boy Wiggins here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I got myself Wiggins, and I got myself Bennett. Two Canadians. Uh, oops. What did I do? What did I break? Oh, I already. okay, guys, I already broke it. Um, but, there we go, oh my god, I was worried for a second there. But anyways, we'll go back over to the Minnesota, there we go. So, our owner is Eddie Chase. Mr. Chase is known to be a patient individual who does not have any strong feelings or needs one way or another. He doesn't require much of a profit, nor does he expect perennial winners. It's widely understood that Timberwolves' position is a great entry-level position for would-be GM. So he doesn't want a lot of money, he doesn't want a lot of wins, he just wants just wants to own the team, basically. Uh, so importance of money is three stars, importance of team success, three stars. He's not too picky. Uh, importance of team image, four stars. That's new this year. I'm not sure how that'll factor in. I don't know if like we can't badmouth people kind of thing. Uh, level of involvement, three stars. So he, he's in, but he's, he gives us some freedom, which is nice. Uh, important to franchise morale, two stars. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And level of patience is four stars. So he's very patient with us. Uh, we have a total budget of 91 million, which is actually pretty good. Um, I mean, OKC only is 100, so we're right up there with them. Uh, player budget is 65. Player payroll, 70. Staff budget, 5. Team operations is 17.25. So let's look at the roster here super quick. Uh, we lost love in the offseason for Wiggins and Bennett. But we've got Pekovic, a solid center. Uh, is this Kevin Martin? Yeah, Kevin Martin, a solid shooting guard, small forward. Uh, Rubio, a young, good young point guard who I'm hoping to see grow in this team. Uh, power forward, we have young. That small forward, we're going to be starting Wiggins right off the bat, without a doubt. And then a good bench point guard in uh, Mo Williams. And then another good small forward in Brewer. J.J. Brea again at point guard. Dang, maybe we'll have to get rid of a point guard. Uh, it might be one of our first things to do since we have two good point guards already. Actually, three in Levine. Oh, Levine's a good one, too. He's young. I think it's his rookie year, I believe. So someone's going to have to go already a point guard. That's what I'm saying. But honestly, it's a solid-looking depth team. Um, I think Hummel? Is he a rook? No, he's not a rook. Muhammad is. Nah, Muhammad no rook. Um, but Bennett, I'd love to refresh his career being here. The first over pick hasn't exactly lived up his expectations in uh in Cleveland after being the first overall pick. So hopefully we can uh get going in this. So let's start this out. Yes, I want to be the Minnesota Timberwolves GM. So not sure what kind of animations or anything there are here. Alright, so we're in our owner's uh, office here. It looks a lot familiar to last year. Hey, hope all has been well with you. I'm very excited to have you on board as the new GM of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh gracious response, arrogant response. Why am I naked? You guys see that? I got no shirt on in the... Oh, like, there I do, but, like, in my little picture on the left side, I got no clothes on. I'm a nudist. No, I'm serious. I'm gonna go gracious response. Uh, I want to get off in a good foot. I don't want to be a douchebag uh, after he just hired me. I'm so grateful to be here, and I'm ready to get my job going as GM of the Minnesota Soda Timberwolves. Well, we should probably get down to business. I want to have a team in top 15 in the world on paper. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, uh, might accomplish. That's surely a goal of all the teams in our position, so it'll be a challenge, but that, that, I'm, that I'm ready to take on. Those that want it the most, work the hardest to get it, usually end up on top. I hope that's you. <laughs> no, uh, no, no pressure. Next up, I'd like to discuss what's on my wish list for the team. The team can't lose more than 40 games this year, period. So we're gonna have to go 500 or better. Um, <clears throat> that'll be tough. But I gotta go with money comps. That's actually a pretty tough goal. It's a good possibility with this team, but you never know. 
I'm surprised you don't see the potential here the way I do. And Death From Above. Oh, it's such a good song, but it's blocking right now. There, it's gone. Okay, now we can read on. <laughs> but seriously, check that out. Death From Above, 1979. Awesome, Dan. I'm surprised you don't see the potential here the way I do. Oh, well, he'll come around. I want to continue to rebuild by trading for a first... Okay, so you want us to be above 500, but you want us to trade for a first-round draft pick. Okay, all right. Just want to make sure I got that clear. Um, yeah, I can do that. You read my mind. I've already been thinking of doing this. I'm going to do it anyways because we're rebuilding, basically. There's some serious talent in the lottery, so I'm looking forward to make you making things happen. Trade either Turioff or Budinger. Oh, easy, yeah. Turioff's gone. I'll get on the phone and see what I can do. Turioff is just a cancer to any team. It'll be sad to see either one of them go, but it's the smartest move to make. No, it's not at all. Let's see what let's see what we have in Andrew Wiggins. Make him play at least 25, 24 minutes a game. Yeah, he's a starter. No problem. He's got a lot of demands. A lot more than last year, it seems like. He's going to surprise you. Just wait. He's going to surprise all of us all. You just wait. I can't read, guys. If you remember me from last year, I can't read. Okay, let's review the terms of your employment. You'll earn XP for completing milestones. XP will raise your GM level, which will unlock free badges, facilities, and persuasive pitches. Now we'll actually be able to afford things, guys. Uh, I remember last year, I always had to get a weight room, and everyone was telling me to get a weight room. But I didn't have enough VC because I didn't play the games. Now you actually get VC for just completing things, which is nice, and it's a more level-up based program. So his demands, I want a roster to be amongst the top 15. Yep, yep, okay. I mean, oh, that's all shit we've already gone over. Uh, oh, at least 24 minutes per game over 54 games a season. So if he gets injured, then there's nothing we can do. Um, okay, let's go, I guess. Is that all I can do? Just hit X, I think. Okay, there we go. Um, you will be able to set your budget each year. It's already set up for this year, so you can have give it a look. Oh, wait, I can't do anything. Okay, yeah, that's the same as before. Well, that's it. Any questions? Um, let's review, ask about staff. Give me information about the current staff. Your staff will be important details, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, there it is. I was like, do I get to see it at all? Okay, so head coach. Um, oh, no, this is chief financial officer. He's got pretty poor rating. Um, who's this? Assistant GM. Yeah, not bad. Head coach is actually pretty solid. Um, assistant coach, Sam Mitchell. Oh, the good old Canadian boy. I believe, <laughs> if I'm correct here. He's, yeah, that's a solid. I'm happy with the coaching right there. Um, and then head scout, solid. And trainer, solid. So it's really just, um, we need would like to improve assistant GM and uh, chief financial advisor. He's a chief. <laughs> so that's good there. Um, and I don't think, I'm ready to get started. Let's go run this team, boys. Let's run it straight into the ground. I'm, I'm kidding. We're not going to do that. Um, so this first episode is going to be reviewing the team, maybe make a couple trades. We're already pretty far into it. Um, is there any draft classes already? No, there's nothing we can do, I don't think. So we'll have to auto-generate rookies, unfortunately, but hey, it's, it's what you it's what you got to do, y'all. Um, so let's... Oh, social media. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, what's this, team status... Oh, okay, so you can see player morale, I guess if someone gets mad at you, team overview. Okay, so it's pretty cool looking, pretty clean cut. Uh, coaching, uh, let's let's start with a trade, all right? I'm going to try and get out, who do we need to move? We need to move a point guard, so Mo Williams, and then we need to get rid of Turioff or Budinger. Budinger is fairly young, Turioff's old. Um, yeah, we already have two centers in Dang and Pekovic, so that's more than enough. So let's uh, view offers for the two of them, see what we can do, and I'll go through these guys, and I'll be right back when I find something I like. Alright guys, back, and I found this trade, uh, with the Pacers. We give Turioff, Mo Williams, and we get Luis Scola, and a second round pick this year back. So, I mean, a solid trade. Scola's got a high overall, um, he's kind of a veteran. Last year of his contract, we're not taking on any cap, that's for sure. Um, I mean, we're getting rid of two solid guys. I mean, get a nice second round pick there, too, which we can always add to a deal later on to sweeten up the pot. So I'm going to go give him a call. Ooh, that phone looks pretty. That's a sexy looking phone. It looks like that old Blackberry phone, though, so I don't know. So first trade I've made, seeing how this looks. 
Hey Duke, let me take a while. Yes, you want to talk trade? Damn straight I do. Uh, edit an offer. Where do I offer? Submit offer. There we go. Um, graduation, you reach level two. Please select the new GM badge, facility, or pitch. Oh, that's cool. You level up and you get a... Okay, so player morale. Um, this is negative owner trust by 10%. Player loyalty by 10 through negotiations. Uh, players acute time loss, less fatigue. Uh, fatigue reduction. Players accrue 10% less progressive fatigue. I don't know what that means. Let's go uh, increase this player loyalty. That'll be nice when we're resigning guys. Because right now, that's not all super important. Actually, no, I should do player morale. I think I'll start with player morale. Then definitely player loyalty is something I have to look at in the future. Um, and he said yes. Of course he said yes. I mean, come on. Uh, so that's our first trade, guys. Hey, do you suggest? Yeah, okay. Um, I'll have coaching out this time because I want to go make another trade, I think. Uh, yeah, we're shaking the team up. I know, I know. So who's our power forward now? Is Thaddeus Young. Okay, Thaddeus Young is a good uh, one to have here. Center, power forward. Anybody else we should get? Oh, maybe we should get rid of a power forward. Should we flop Scola? Or do we keep put Scola as a starter and see what we can get for Thaddeus Young, I think. Let's see what I can get for Thaddeus Young. Maybe we can get it first. That would be really nice. So we could scratch that off the bat. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Ooh, that's a big contract too, actually. Nine million. That's a lot. That's that would be nice to get off um, before. Well, I guess it's only one year. I don't know. We'll see what's out there. I'll be right back in a second if I see anything exciting. All right, guys, back. I found this trade. Okay, now first of all, you're gonna look at this. And be like, Carl Landry. Who's he? He only gets paid six million dollars a year for the next three years. But we get that first round pick out. All right, we already got a first round pick, and King sucks. So it's obviously gonna be a good one. Um, we're gonna save some cap this year. But we do take on a shitty. We can always we can always try and get rid of him for some shitty something. I don't know. But it's that first pick that's really okay. Look at this. Look at this value right here. Two and a half stars is what the first round pick is worth. Two and a half stars is what Thaddeus Young's worth. They're throwing in a star and a half player. All right. Yes, this is a salary sucks. But fuck, I'll take it. Take it to every day, nine days out of the week. I don't know what I'm fucking saying. So let's start that up. Hopefully you cannot hear the vacuum upstairs. I am praying you cannot hear that vacuum upstairs. That would really make me mad if I was watching this video and that happened. So we'll go straight into this uh, at an offer. Give me that. He says yes. He says he loves it. We'll take it off your hands. Now we'll go set up the uh, player rotation. Uh, and then we will... Um, what am I going to say? We'll do this and this will wrap up the episode here. Uh, how do I do this? Yes, rebuild rotation. Just do it like that and see what we can do. So... Point guard, good. Wiggins, only 27. Pekovic. The Skulls are starting power forward. Um, hmm. I'm just looking. I'm just looking, looking, seeing what there is. Okay, Landry. Oh, yeah, they don't need so much, so many minutes off the fucking bench. Jesus. I got so many minutes on the bench. Talk about practice here, homie. Um, tip, give them... Why do I need so many more minutes? I want these boys to have minutes. I want Rubio to have a lot of minutes. I want Wiggins to have 30 minutes at least. Kid needs minutes now. Um, Pekovic needs a couple minutes. Oh, fine, we'll do that. Let's do that. I give Landry some more. I'll give Brewers some more. Shut you up. Okay, we'll do that. Um, I guess we'll do. All right, we'll do 16 for Brea. I want Levine to have some. And now we'll give more there. Oh, look, he doesn't even have any minutes. What are you saying here? Okay, let's start with that. Eventually, I want to put Levine over Brea. Uh, that's good for Dang. Bennett needs some minutes. What are we doing here? Give less minutes to Bennett. So you know what? I'll do what I want, okay? Thank you very much. And I think don't think we can do... Oh, we can do that. Do we want 12 or... Oh, I need a. Oh my God, this is actually stressful right now. Um, let's do. Let's do that, okay? Let's just do that. That that's fine. I don't know why this is like this, like always, but whatever, okay? Um, I don't know what I'm doing right here. Okay, that's that's solid, boys. That's what we're going with. So that's how we're gonna take care of that for now. Next episode, guys, we're hopping in to 
the regular season, I guess. Oh, wait, let's go look at social media. Timberwolves move Thaddeus Young to Kings for Carl Landry. Questionable move. Hashtag questionable move. Um, Pacers move Louis Scola and second to Timberwolves. Okay, is that it? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'll have another one coming out in a couple days for sure. I think I'm going to try and do these Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I'm definitely, let me know if you want me to start a my career, because I think I might, all right? I think I might, that's the plan. Uh, so if you want me to do that, let me know in the, in the comment section below, guys, and have an awesome day, guys. Peace out.